afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. And guys, guess what? Just got in something that's been very hard to find lately, and that is a pre-owned toy hauler travel trailer. Got this one locally, guys. Bought it from some owners who bought it brand new. This is a 2018 Coachman Catalina Trailblazer model 26 th and i'm sorry guys i'm trying to work around a via truck that's parked right here um but really nice travel trailer it's been used they said a total of seven times never spent more than four nights at a time in it and it really shows guys really really nice camper about as nice as you're going to find without going out and buying a brand new one and um this particular one, guys, is 30 feet long overall length, including the tongue. Dry weight is 5,489 pounds. So this is actually a very light weight for a toy hauler, and that's because it doesn't have any slides. So for those of you just wanting something simple that you can tow something with, well, here you go. And you don't even have to use this to haul toys with. I mean, you know, on a pretty day like this, you can put that ramp door down. You've got a screen to keep the bugs out if you want to do put it out let some of the fresh air in kind of bring the outdoors inside so to speak but a good looking camper nevertheless perfect for half ton for most half ton trucks i'm not gonna say all of them but you can see the striping the finish looks great it's uh 30 amp electrical service which i've got it hooked into right now does have an outside auxiliary shower black tank flush Sitting on Goodyear tires. Six gallon DSI water heater. Not bad at all. Do have a power tongue jack, double propane bottles on the front, deep cycle battery. You can see the striping and finish looks great. Power awning works great. Let's see if they got this open. I didn't, I didn't even think to open the bays. Which, like I said, we haven't cleaned this thing or nothing, so it may be a little bit dirty, but there's your crank out for your, for your stabilizer jacks. Got some outside speakers. Stereo works great. Got the TV on. Let's look inside. Cargo carrying capacity is 2,563 pounds. And it's an open toy hauler. What does that mean? That means that you can use almost the entire interior as a toy hauler space. Notice you've got tons of tie downs. And technically, and I'll try to show this to you the best I can, you've got eight feet from this countertop right here to the back of the door. But because of this open toy hauler design, you can go all the way basically to the TV right there. And that's roughly, I don't have a measuring tape with me, but that's roughly 14, 15 feet. So that's a pretty good sized toy box area. But like I said, if you're not gonna buy this for a toy box, which is what most people buy these things for, believe it or not, I think now they're saying that most people are buying this style camper with the intentions of not using it to haul toys than they are using them to haul toys. Does have the double flip down sleeper sofas and I've got one up in the storage position so you can see what it looks like uh, when it's down, which is like this right here. It's in both, both sofas are in great shape. I've got the extra throw pillows up there in the storage compartments. Uh, these chairs are removable so you can move them around to wherever you want to or you can take them out if you don't need them. Do have a 13,500 BTU Coleman mock air conditioner. Uh, TV, stereo sounds great. I've already checked all that out for you. Day night shades. There's just a zip down screens, LED lights, in case you want a boondock camp. Uh, both these sofas make two separate beds so you can sleep six in here. Not bad. Stainless steel appliances. I see a lot of similarities in this one in the working place. Of course, y'all know the uh, Coachman Adrenaline, which is what this became, um, and the working play are the exact same camper. So a lot of these similarities in the construction. 
does have a nor cold six cubic feet rv refrigerator freezer that runs off of propane or electric because this is a pre-pandemic built it's in a lot higher demand than say a 2021 model or 2022 model used one would be already getting colds which we guarantee that to work anyway it runs off propane or electric versus the pandemic built ones which are on 12 volt refrigerators because they couldn't get the because the manufacturers couldn't get the parts to build the two-way rv refrigerator freezers air conditioner feels great pop out vents there's your awning controls leather well they call it leather pleather seats look great um, books and manuals are included this is a one owner rv all kinds of goodies and stuff in there books manuals which it's funny it'll give you information about the different systems won't tell you how to operate them but it'll tell you you know service centers and stuff like that it ain't like the old days where they actually put in operating instructions and repair instructions like they used to but not anymore but that's all right guys that's what you got youtube for um i like the simplicity of this one you know a lot of people don't want these real complicated multi-slide out toy haulers because the more slides the more weight the more complicated they get the more stuff they can break i mean this right here guys is just so easy i mean what you see is what you get this is what it looks like when you're towing down the road or when you're set up at the campground no slide outs no shuffling stuff around to bring the rooms in and out you know you don't have to worry about slide out seals slide out motors which i mean there's nothing wrong with that it's just one more extra thing to keep up with just manual crank down stabilizer jacks very simple very rarely give you problems um does have the table for the that goes between the couches too i just laid it in the bed i just didn't set it up for demonstration purposes front bedroom you do have a private bedroom queen island bed there of course is your table that looks brand new probably never used nice tall ceiling place for tv in here never had one there's no holes in the wall storage underneath the bed solid sliding door for privacy in the master bedroom and still get plenty of airflow you got two duct uh two vents in here for duct work does have a furnace water heater everything you need guys very very nice camper very comfortable camper i mean this thing is clean as they come doesn't show any use i mean you saw the stove i covers earlier never cooked on it doesn't look like i mean if you're looking for a toy hauler traditionally um used toy haulers are normally pretty can be pretty rough because people tend to use these in a little bit rougher conditions than a regular camper like where you take to a campground people take these tracks dirt tracks races you know they they move vehicles in and out of them they walk in with muddy feet all the time they spill gas and oil in them they usually have a lot more wear and tear than your average camper the fact this one's been used recreationally um really shows because i mean you look around this floor guys you see any tire tread marks in the floor where they rolled stuff in and out of it no or on the back uh ramp door no in the back of the door looks great too i'll get a picture of that put on the ad uh, after i get done with this video and um like i said the only way you're going to buy one any nicer is go buy a brand new one new one like this probably going to be about 30 grand but here's the thing guys you go to a new dealership or even buy one of these at a used dealership you know you may see a price but that's not the out the door price here is twenty thousand nine hundred dollars plus applicable sales tax that's it there's no fees no upsells now you go to these other places they may advertise a certain price but they're going to add like i don't know eight hundred dollars for dock fee uh or five hundred dollars for prep fee uh happy camper fee. you know if it's a big corporate dealership they're going to add you know happy camper fee and uh 
get ready fee and whatever other kind of fee they can come up with that's going to add to the price but here's where they really get you they do upsells and guys upsells is what really gets people what it is these dealers take these extended warranties that aren't worth a flip they buy these extended warranties for a camper which is normally four five six seven hundred dollars eight hundred dollars at the most is what the dealer pays for them depends on who they buy them from that's what they pay for them they turn around and resell those aftermarket warranties to you for 2500 three grand four grand whatever they think you'll pay they keep that difference well, here's the thing guys these warranty companies are selling these warranties for just five six hundred dollars these dealerships do you think they're really going to pay anything as far as claim wise unless they absolutely have to of course not they're going to do everything in the world to keep from getting a claim and that's why their warranty contracts the legal language in it pretty much guarantees that 99 percent of the time they can weasel their way out of paying a claim so you spend all those thousands of dollars with that dealership for that warranty and it's never going to pay anything so it's a complete waste of money and then they start adding gap insurance which you can get through your auto insurance company for a fraction of the cost they start adding tire and wheel protection packages they start adding uh vacation packages and all this other stuff guys again marked up four or five six times a dealer cost and before you know it guys we'll just use this price for example let's just say they got the same camper twenty thousand nine hundred dollars they're going to add two thousand dollars worth of fees to it and then they're going to add your sales tax which is going to be roughly We'll just say $1,400 in tax. So right there, you're at $3,400 plus your $20,900. Um, so you're already at $24,000 and change. And then here comes the upsells. All right, here you go. We're going to put a $4,000 warranty on it. All right, now you have $28,000. Uh, $800 gap insurance, $29,000. Tire and wheel vacation package, da 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 da. For you know, you're up to $32,000, $33,000, Or you say you look at a brand new one for thirty. dollars Well, that thirty dollars is going to turn into forty-one, forty-two, forty-three thousand dollars $43,000 very, very quickly. That's how they make their money, guys. I Trust me, what you see these things advertised for online on RV Trader and all these other websites, guys, I promise you, you're not going to walk in there with a cashier's check made for that amount of money, even if you figure in your sales tax and leave with that camper. No way, no how, guys. Here you can, besides your applicable sales tax. But over there, these other places you can't. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna nail you guys. That's how they make their money. Trust me. Um, don't believe me? Just remember that guys. You can come in here and buy this one for twenty thousand nine hundred dollars plus your tax. And if you're coming from out of state, you're not financing it, you're just paying it out of your pocket, either you know, with a cashier's check, cash or wire transfer, you bring me 20000 and you're not a Georgia resident, you bring me $20,900, you'll pay your sales tax in your own state when you tag and title it, whatever your state sales tax rate is, you'll pay it when you tag and title it. You just bring me $20,900, you get this camper lock, stock, and barrel. Includes our major systems inspection, which we do on used RVs, which we make sure the, uh, the uh, water system works and make sure the refrigerator and air conditioner works. Make sure the step works, make sure the tongue jack works. Uh, we check your water heater, water pump, make sure all your faucet spigots work. Really not, and obviously the TV and the awning work. So, you know, there's really not that much more to check on it uh, besides maybe microwave. And, you know, I'm sure everything else works. These people, this thing's only been used a handful of times since new. So, I mean, obviously, I don't think there's gonna be much issues with it. But what I'm getting at, guys, is all that's included for that $20,900 plus tax out the door. Take it to the bank. Financing is available with approved credit. Unlike other dealers, I do not mark interest rates up. So I'm saving you money coming and going. And remember, guys, get that out the door price. Tell your, you know, if you're looking at another dealership, this unit, another dealership, just ask your salesperson, all right, I'm coming up with a cashier's check. How much do I need to make it out for? And I'm not, and I refuse to pay an extra penny out of pocket. Give me that out the door figure. And I'm refusing to pay or buy. See what they tell you. Don't be surprised they tell you. Well, guess what, uh, Mr. Customer, Mr. And Mrs. or Mrs. or whatever you are. Well, this day and age, who knows? But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, guess what? Uh, don't be surprised they say, well, guess what? We just sold it or somebody's got a deposit on it they don't want you bringing your own money 
many dealerships actually charge you more if you pay cash or you go to your own bank now they charge you a fee for that or just flat out refuse to sell it to you i've seen dealers even put that on their ad that the price was only good if you bought if you went through one of their preferred lenders and that's so they can mark the interest rates up on the financing and because they can sell you all those upsells see it's a lot easier for a dealer to sell you an upsell when they can just add a little bit to your payment you know uh twenty dollars a month extra to your uh camper payment sounds a lot easier to sell somebody than well that warranty's four thousand dollars that's a lot easier to sell them on payment than it is what that service call that upsell cost and that's what they bank on they know if you come in and pay cash they're not going to be able to sell you that upsell because you're not going to pay it that's why anytime a dealer starts talking about i'm going to give you a tip too guys remember this if you if you're stuck in that finance office that finance manager and he starts talking or he or she starts talking about a uh, gap insurance or extended warranties which are which by the way are not worth a flip just always say no to them but if you just if you just want to toy around with them and make them sweat a little ignore the payment amount ask them how much is that costing me give me an exact figure i want to know not a guess because a lot of times they'll just guess and give you a totally wrong number i ask them i want the dollar and cent amount that that's costing me and write it down watch them sweat because they know they lost you then but that's how these big guys make money guys you know big dealers don't become big dealers by giving people fair deals Maybe that's why we've never really grown much beyond this is our original location. You know, we started back in, you know, it's 1968 right here. That's why we, we've got acres of used RVs, got lots of them to look at. Our prices can't be beat. And considering, especially considering that we don't have any upsells, no fees. I mean, our prices are, are pretty much, besides sales tax, out the door. Besides... Now, if you want delivery, guys, it's $2 a mile one way or a dollar a mile round trip, whichever way is easier for you to figure. And if you want a weight distribution kit, uh, we do those. We do those for $495 installed. Now, that's less than half price what Ripoff World charges for the exact same brand weight distribution hitch, and that includes sway control and 2 and 5 sixteenths ball. That's the difference between a mom and pop independent dealer like us and these big corporate dealers, guys. We don't get rich on every deal. We don't have to. We own everything we sell. We pay cash for everything. We don't have mortgages. We don't have floor plans. We don't have to have a huge markup because we're not paying all these interest charges like other dealers do. We don't spend millions of dollars a year in sponsoring college football bowl games and uh, we don't sponsor NASCAR races and spend all these millions and millions and millions of dollars a year in marketing alone. Because when you go to a dealership that does that, yeah, their name's more recognized than Parkway RV Center. But everybody that buys an RV from them has to pay a couple of thousand extra on everything they buy to cover that advertising cost. That's, that's divided up among everybody that buys an RV from them, all that advertising cost is divided up. So they're the ones paying it, not the dealer, but the people buying RVs from them. You know, I get people almost every single week want me to buy their RV or have a trade-in that they bought from Ripoff World or from one of these big corporate dealerships that still that have been paying on it for years and still owe more than what it costs brand new. Because again, the upsells and the fees. I mean, you're paying on it four or five years before you even get the payoff down to what it was advertised for when it was brand new just absolutely crazy what these people do to you i don't understand what people think when they buy these things i just I, it just blows my mind and and you know these are not dumb people i mean these are smart people guys i mean getting suckered into this is it just their wants and they, their wants gets ahead of their brain i i don't understand how these salespeople and finance managers these big corporate dealerships can talk full-grown adults into owing that much on a camper and leaving because it's only new when you buy a new camper guys it's brand new until you tow it or drive it off the new lot after that no matter what you do to it it's a used rv 
if you turn around and sell it to your neighbor the next day you have to sell it as a new rv because the warranty is not transferable it is a used rv but you you owe what a new one's worth as soon as you pull it off the lot it ceases to be a new rv but you just paid a new price for something that's technically a used rv i just don't get people stinking especially with these pandemic built ones i mean they just have so many factory defects you know, I was reading the other day that the average new RV, the first year under warranty, that it spends almost four months on average at a dealer's service lot getting factory defects repaired, depending on the brand, the type, and things like that, and, of course, the dealership. Four months, guys. That's almost four months of payments that you're going to pay for a camper that you, that you can't even use because it's getting fixed. Wow. It makes you look that much better, doesn't it? Well, I'm mean, like this one right here. If you bought this one brand new in 18 and you bought all the upsells, they're going to sell you, which they will. I mean, they'll pretty much flat out refuse to sell it to you unless you buy the upsells. You probably still owe 24, 25 grand after paying on it for five years. But, you know what, guys? We didn't have, you know, it's like I said before, if people didn't buy new, we wouldn't have used so I guess I can't gripe too much about it <laughs> I just I know and it just gets to me sometime because so many people come in here expecting us to get them out of their unit that they they're tired of and and we tell them we can't I mean we try to we do everything we can every trick in the book but unless you've got a lot of money saved up when you're that upside down I mean if you sell it to us you're gonna have to put money with it to pay it off uh, luckily, these people here were able to uh, get what they got their payoff for it, but but they they lost. You know, they paid a chunk down when they bought it. They paid a lot more than what the salesperson wanted them to pay, and they got lucky because they did. That's the only reason they were able to sell it to us. But um, still, I mean, they bought this thing brand new. They 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 probably lost fifteen thousand dollars on it for the seven or eight times they got to use it. It's just sad, really. But, you know, it's just memories cost money sometimes. Anyway, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Sorry to mean to ramble on like that. Smash me a thumbs up, guys. Stay tuned for some more videos. Thanks again for watching. And um, hope everybody had a great Labor Day, a safe Labor Day. Even though it rained for two days, uh, I did give me a chance to uh, work on my motorhome, do a few little projects on it. And, um, uh, pretty happy about that so uh we'll be uh i got done with that thing for now if there's ever such thing as being done with a with your rv I, i've still got some upgrades left in mind i still want to do but it is kind of nice having a couple of days off to, to to work on it and uh get some stuff done so thank y'all again for watching smash me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button rv's a big boat and look forward to seeing you here beautiful ring gold georgia as always call before coming to look make sure it's available and uh don't forget guys we cover the major systems we live everything else as is so you know we check the refrigerator the plumbing systems the air conditioner things that can ruin your trip i've already checked the awning it works tv works stereo works you know uh, all the lights work the couch works both of them you know you need to come Look at everything else yourself and or hire a third-party inspection service so that you know what you're getting into, guys. I do not recommend buying sight unseen. If you do buy sight unseen, hire an inspector. Please, guys, hire an inspector. A few hundred dollars, five, six hundred dollars, whatever it costs for a travel trailer. Money well spent if you're not going to take the effort to come down here and look at it in person or you live too far away. Um, just please, guys always always even if it's a brand new rv always hire a rv inspector for any new or used rv purchase thanks again for watching look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringo georgia